Hi, welcome to another video, hopefully less than five minutes. Today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to these chips here. They are microchips 8-pin EEPROMs. So electronically erasable, programmable, read-only memory. These devices use the communication protocol SPI. Why did I choose SPI over I2C? I2C has two regular frequencies, 100 kilohertz and 400 kilohertz. This chip on SPI can run up to 20 megahertz clock. I've currently got this set at frequency oscillator divided by four, so that's 16 megs. So at 16 megs, this is 40 times faster than 400 kilohertz I2C. When you're choosing your EEPROM, make sure you choose the right package. Well, this EEPROM is actually the 25LC1024, one megabit of EEPROM. It's actually just over one megabit. Hope you can see the part number down there, actually. So the LC, it's got a wide body, and my pads underneath were not for the wide body. But I was able to bend the legs in and solder them down. So that's the EEPROM. That's a PIC 18F26K22 with 65 kilobytes of ROM. So this colour screen, 16 bit data, 128 by 128, 32,768 bytes of information for 16 bit colour. So that means this EEPROM I can hold nearly five pictures. If this EEPROM was I2C, this would be 40 times slower. Right, here's the data sheet for the chip I'm using. So one megabit, it's actually just over one megabit, I'll show you. There's the features, 20 megahertz max clock speed. There's a couple of caveats you need to be aware of. To write the data, you have to send it a command to say you're going to write. Then you have to give it the address of where you want the data to be written and then you can only send one page of data. One page is 256 bytes. After the 256 bytes, you have to bring the chip select high, give it the six milliseconds here to write the page, and then continue on. The page write is only applicable to writing the data. You do not need to read pages when reading the data back. You can literally start at zero and keep on clocking it and it will give you the whole one meg of data if that's what you want. So data retention, 200 years, so no need to worry there. Endurance, one million arrays write cycles. So down to the principles of operation, you can have a read if you've got the chip, but you can see there, so it's 131,072 bytes. That's larger than one megabit. To write any data to the EEPROM, you have to write this command. Set the write enable latch. This is a simple read instruction, so chip select low. That's the instruction to read. Then you give it the 24-bit address, and the top 7 bits are don't care. And then it will start spitting out the data, up to the size of the EEPROM. And just for the newbies, in case you're not familiar, so this lot here, this is 32,000 bytes of that last picture, the lake boat. So it's a bitmap, 32,768 bytes long. So it took me a few hours to suss. But so my two for loops, this is writing the last picture. So I write each picture, then I skip one page, then write another picture. So the fourth picture is at the address 98,352. This for loop is writing 256 bits, but where you would normally have 4j equals 0, j is less than 256, j plus plus, you want to increment this after you've written the first page. So I've put page here instead of 0, page plus 256 bytes, and j plus plus. SPI write the lake boat picture, j. 
That will write the first 256 bytes. The chip selector is then brought high. You give it time for it to write that page, six thousandths of a second. I'm checking the status here, you don't have to, but, but I am. When the write in progress bit clears to zero, it then continues. So you can see here page equals page plus 256. This is the code you send it to say you want to start writing the data. This is the address, and the address is being incremented in this for loop, and then for loop again. So since we increased the page by 256, that J is now on the second page, this is now not zero, it's 256. Then 256 plus 256, J plus plus. Write another 256 bytes, and increment the address each time it does. So that simple for loop. And whilst I was writing the data, I inadvertently locked myself out of the EEPROM, so I put this C file, I, I'm not sure if I put the C file on GitHub or just put it in the show more, because it's quite small. This is to read the status register. This is the enable write. Every time you want to write to the EEPROM, you have to send it this command. And then this is the disable, and then unsigned long address and unsigned int page. That's all you really need. So if you're thinking of using an EEPROM, now you know how to use microchips EEPROMs with page addressing. So that 256, I forgot to say, is being written 128 times. 256 times 128. 32,768 bytes, which is the size of my picture. Now you know how Microchip's SPI EEPROMs work. Thanks for watching.